All right, guys, Abby and I are outside and we are about to start the graveyard. So let me show you the area it's going to be. This spot, I'm not sure if we're gonna do the whole length of it, but it's definitely gonna go right here. So let's see what we can do. All right, this is what we have so far. We have seven gravestones. <coughs> I'm gonna hurt this dog. Anyway, our fence, and then our random bones popping out. Got a foot and the skull, and this bone here, they're all kind of buried. The other ones we just kind of put, so hopefully they don't fly away. We added the chains. And now the only thing I wanna do is go and see if I have any of the um, eyeball flowers from the Dollar Tree. I'd gotten some last year. I know they have them out again. If not, and I want to maybe add like a small bouquet in front of the one that has this name Thomas Small. Um, I think that'd be a, a good touch. So that's about all we're going to do other than add some flowers or if Abby finds anything she wants to add. So this portion of the yard is done. How did we do guys? It's from Dollar Tree, everything's from Dollar Tree except for the bones were from Five Below and the actual tombstones I got on clearance last year from Walmart. So yeah, there's our graveyard. Tomorrow we'll probably decorate this section. It's just really hot outside. It's got a little breeze but not enough to talk about. So, plus I gotta get the blow ups out and get them all batteried up and stuff. Oh yay! Also, have you, as you probably noticed at this point in the video, uh, there's been no Ralph on it. Well, Ralphie is gone. We were able to locate his owners because if we couldn't locate his owners, we were going to keep him. But his owners were found, but unfortunately, they were found a little bit too late. He got out yesterday morning, and that's another reason I didn't post a video. Like, I was completely stressed out yesterday. Um... After I brought Abby to school, he found a spot in the gate, snuck out, and while school traffic was still rolling, he attacked another dog. Um, it cost me $450 at the vet, because I did have to pay for the vet bill of this dog. Um, it had to go under and get stitches on its neck, which he was never aggressive here in the house. As y'all saw in the video, Izzy was the one who was barking. But she's like that with any dog. She barks at me just for filming a video. But, um, so yeah, yesterday I had to deal with the vet, the animal warden, the police officers, as well as a lieutenant police person. The school had to explain to them kind of what went on, let them know that the dog is no longer in this neighborhood. Kids saw it, was not a pretty sight. Nothing I could do to get to him fast enough. Like I said, he went out under the gate. I didn't even know they had that spot because it was further down the fence. So, he's back with his owner, but unfortunately his owner is crap because within an hour of being back with him, he was already loose again um, at my brother-in-law's house. So, yeah, way to go, dude. Way to take care of your dog. But anyway, I was trying to do something good, give the dog a place to stay and until we located the owners or if they never came forth, like I said, we were going to keep him. He was a sweetheart. He really was. But things happen. Nothing you can do about it. There will be another dog in our future, but not that one. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed our little decorating video of the graveyard. Um, I didn't have a tripod, so I was going to set it up where it was recording us but i keep forgetting to get another tripod because mine did crap out like a whole leg broke off so i will let you guys go with that i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time bye